Hello. Um, last time, like maybe last year, I did a video game collection video. This time, we did. Well, this time I have more video games to show, and I'm gonna do them in chronological order, like last time. The only main difference is that there is gonna be a couple of other things I'm gonna show, but you'll see what those are. First game is Spider Fighter. Air Sea Battle. As you can see, a lot of these Atari games have changed now, have they? Slot Racers. Night Driver. Space Invaders. Doom, doom, doom. I actually can't see that game. Focus. Focus. Ah, jeez. On focus. You fail. Pole position 2. Phoenix. Freeway. Frogs and flies. Even though it looks like frogs and flat flight. Dick Dug. Yars Revenge. Why do I like this game so much? I don't know. Skiing. Oh man. No. So dark. Supposed to be Star Raiders, and you can barely see the cartridge because it's so dark and pale. Uh, how can it be dark and pale? Pole position. Egomania. Laser Blast. Breakout. Or Arcanoid. Depending on how you say it. 27 telegames. Don't know what games are on here, though. You tell me. Actually, what am I saying? I should know. Berserk. See, here's telegames. Another spider fighter. I think one of them didn't work. Video pinball. Surround, 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 surround. Oh, wait, that's Echo. What am I saying? Circus Atari. Grand Prix. Bowling. Kaboom. Solar Fox. Sounds like Star Fox, doesn't it? Gopher. Star Master. Sea Quest. River Raid. The, uh, the original Carnival by Sega. Asteroids. Got a little bit of Atlantis. Give me a moment because I just remember something. I take that back. There is one change to the Atari collection. Donkey Kong. So that's all the Atari games. Now we're going to the NES games. So let's see how they are. Once I get this off my phone. Rad Racer. Jackal. If you remember, I actually said that this was one of my favorite NES games. So, here we go. I got it. Sexus. I don't know why the focus is being all weird, but whatever. It, I finally figured out how to pronounce it as Sexus. Back in the first one, I pronounced it X E X Y Z. Super Mario Bros. 3. Who doesn't have this game? Oh yeah, I do own the Legend of Zelda on the first console, and I think that's the only NES game I bought on the virtual console, unless I bought something else and I forgot. No, oh, whatever. Um, I don't really own any Sega Genesis games, except I do own Sonic the Hedgehog 3 on the virtual console. I think the Genesis came first, but I can't remember which came first, the Super NES or the Sega Genesis. So, since I don't really have any Sega Genesis games, 
I'm going straight on with the Virtual Console game that I got from the Sega Genesis, so, yeah. So let's go on with Super NES games, shall we? Uniracers! I really like this game, but... Weirdly enough, I really might want to show this on a webcam or something, but for some reason, one name is glitched up. I don't know why. It's just weirdly glitched up. Stunt Race FX! Well, I like the game, actually. Pretty cool. Yeah. It might be either the lining or lining. <laughs> That's failed my part. Top Gear! Focus! Will you please focus? The Super Game Boy. Yeah, I got the Super Game Boy. And I also got Donkey Kong Country 3 on the Virtual Console. And Super Mario RPG as well. And I believe that's the only Super NES games I bought on there. Unless I'm being mistaken. Unless I'm mistaken. Destruction Derby 64. The earliest THQ game I got. First game is Spider Fighter. Extreme G Race Extreme G Racing 2. Yeah. Extreme G Racing 2. San Francisco Rush 2029. Again, you probably remember this as being one of my favorite N64 games. Donkey Kong 64. Definitely. I can't believe it actually works. And I finally got an expansion pack. Top Gear Rally. Hot Wheels Turbo Racing. That's probably a bad impression, but probably not terrible. Oh yeah. It says Hot Wheels Turbo Racing on the bottom on the top. Kinda of cute stuff. Revolt. I like this game. Mario Golf. Really heavy cartridge. Kirby 64 to Crystal Shards. I really like that game. The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, even though the sticker is so dark, it's... The camera can't even register the name other than the Zelda part. Just put my word for it, it has the stick, the cool sticker, 3D sticker. It's pretty cool. AU Pikachu. I finally got the mic for that. F-Zero X. Wave Race 64. Player's Edition. Player's Choice Edition. Yeah, player's Choice Edition. Ridge Racer 64. I like the Ridge Racer 64 and Ridge Racer DS. The Ridge Racer 64 is slightly better. Beetle Adventure Racing. I really like that game. Excite Bike 64. Actually, I do have the box for that, but I should have. I didn't show it. Top Gear Overdrive, don't ask why I even know this game, it's actually not that good of a game, but whatever. Probably the worst two seasons. Uh, I do own Offer this time from the Virtual Console, as per usual. What did you expect? BG Maniac. Custom Robo. I've been wanting this game. It's way better than the DS1, trust me. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. If you look closely on the tag, I paid two dollars for this game. Two dollars. Deal. Chaos Field. It's a shmup, and I looked it up. Apparently, it was also a Dreamcast game. Bionicle Heroes. If only the. If only your focus wouldn't do that. If only the hero mode was not so frequent. Animal Crossing, I really had to get this game. Pikmin 2, if you're wondering, yes, this game is very rare. I got this at Circuit City. When it existed. Kirby Air Ride. This game used to be for the N64. Yeah, I'm be doing it. I'm nervous. Hot Wheels Velocity X. This was actually a pretty good game. F-Zero G. 
S0TX, I'm trying to show the box art and it's being either blurry or dark. And when I have this, I'm afraid of something about that. Anyways, this game is very cool, but very hard. I'm just winning. Luigi's Mansion! Mario! That was a horrible impression. That was a horrible impression, I swear. Paper Mario does your door. Best seller edition. Sonic Riders, the 15th anniversary for Sonic the Hedgehog. I probably should celebrate about Sonic for the 20th anniversary, but I don't know. Super Mario Sunshine, in my opinion, the best 3D Mario game. Trust me, one of the best 3D Mario games. Super Monkey Ball 2, I really like this game. Wallace and Groman and Project Zoo. Game is hard. That's it. Wave Race Blue Storm. Just play that. I mean, I got it sometime or whatever. Legend of Zelda Four Swords. And yes, as you see, it's not in a game. It's not in the actual box. If you'll take a notice, it's in a GameStop box. Yet I paid two bucks for it. Yes, the disc is in there. In case you're wondering, the disc is in there. Fail. The disc is in there. If you can even see, yeah, right there. See if the disc is in there. Kind of. Well, I don't know. The, the case is actually pretty good though. The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Again, two bucks. Steal, huh? If you're wondering where I got these. Pokemon Coliseum, and it doesn't work! It gets an error screen every time when it goes after the Nintendo logo for some stupid reason. However, let's take a look. Oh, what's this? It's a... It's a... Another GameCube game. But what is this? Oh! It's Mario Kart Double Dash. Yeah, this doesn't have a case. It was one buck. Can you believe that one dark? There. Ah, fail. Get there we go. Yes, Pokemon Coliseum disc does not work. I don't know why. Maybe if you maybe if you look at the disc, maybe you can tell me. Maybe if I take out the it out of the case, maybe you will see it better. Uh, can you tell me if this is actually the legit case? It looks mostly black, has silver lining, and actually you can see most of it anyways. It, I don't know what's so bad about it, I mean, it doesn't even have any scratches on it. I don't know why it's so bad, I can't even see scratches on the camera. No. Um, probably caught that in the camera. Yeah, you can fit two GameCube games in one. <laughs> okay. Super Smash Bros. Melee. Yep, I got this game. Don't remember how much I paid for it, though. So that's all the GameCube games. 20 that work. One that doesn't. How unuseful is that? Thanks, it's PS2 games. Mega Man X8. I run 2006 coast to coast. Extreme G Racing 3. If you're wondering where I got some of these games, I've got it when GameStop was getting rid of their Game for Boy Vans, the Sienna PS2 games. Quite a good deal because it was buy two, get two free. Never used one, so yeah, definitely a good deal. Coral Q. I like good Coral Q game. That actually has a cool new title in the US. MX Unleashed. I haven't tried that game yet. Let's see if it works. Hyper Sonic Extreme or HSX. For some reason, every time that I find a disc, it has that. Yeah, it has that mark right there. And I think someone just failed on their wrong collection. Are you alright? I don't know. 
RC Revenge Pro. This game is pretty good. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Wait away, arcade treasures. You can't see it, but three. I got sniped with under and most of those went right, so yeah. The last Extreme G Racing Association. Wait, what am I saying? That's the title of the game. That's the last Extreme G Racing game. Sonic Mega Collection Plus. That's the case, Sonic. Bought it at Circuit City, I think. Do I have to get the in there I'll check that in a little bit. Sonic Heroes. Bought that at Coles, I think. Kind of weird. Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Yep. Okay, that's all the PS2 games, except I'm gonna check something out. Let's see. Do I have a scene here? No, I don't. Of course not. Because back then I didn't use receipts. Hooray! Donkey Kong Country Returns. This game is a very nice revival of the series, and I should hope they're making a sequel for it, because it's hard. It's fun. Spectrum's Origins. Glad to finally get that soundtrack done. Now, if only I get a capture card, I can really get it done. Kirby's Epic Yarn. Probably the weakest Kirby game, but it's still kind of cool, I suppose. But I would recommend just waiting for Kirby Wii because I'm gonna get another Wii game and it looks pretty cool. The Blob. And I paid, I think, 18 bucks for this because back then it was for. Sightbots Trick Racing. Yep, I own this game. Yeah, I enjoy it. Do I boom? I wouldn't recommend using a wheel. The Munchables. Game similar to Katamari. Super Mario Galaxy. Mario Land Shake It. Game is actually not that bad. Nice for the Mario Land series. And Disney's Epic Mickey. This is nice. Oh, there. There's hardly anything in there. Yeah, Disney Epic Mickey is one of the last games I bought for a week. Alright, so now we got that out of the way, let's go for PS3. The last of the console games. Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. This game has Pretty much almost every single Sega game that was released. It has uh, Alter Beast, Vector Man, Song of the Hedgehogs, and then the pictures of the Song of the Hedgehog 3, and it says Song of the Hedgehog 2, Sega, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, uh, Shinobi, I think, Fantasy Star, Sonic Spinball, Rice Star, Mode Million. Echo, or Eco, I forget, Echo, Echo, the Dolphin, something like that. Um, I forget how you, I forget what that's actually called or whatever. It has a, quite a few Sonic, it has quite a few games other than Sonic. So, I really recommend trying to get this collection. Better is for PS3 or recently. That was a long talk about that game, wasn't it? Lego Indiana Jones The Original Adventures, the one game I'm always forgetting to find. I'm, I forget that it's mine. Pure! The only reason I got this game was to get a sticker, but it's kind of a cool game, I suppose. Hey, Rock, maybe Black Rock Studios, for them. Thanks a lot, this is the interactive. Burnout Paradise! I don't know that I don't know if it's available, but just for the record. Um, the DLC for Burnout Paradise current was when I got it anyways, I don't know if it's on sale anymore, but it was originally for mostly two bucks for most of the DLC and the island was three bucks. It was a very good deal because in total if you wanted to get all the cars, even the island, that would equal amount to 11 bucks at least. It would equal 12, it would equal maybe 14 bucks in total if you wanted to get all the DLC. Because it's including tax, mind you. Fallout 2 Battle Lights. Yep, I got this game. Even though when it 
So that's all the console games. Now let's go for handheld.